Today we will be studying about different types of aquaculture. First we completed our topic about history and scope of aquaculture. Now we will study about different kinds of aquaculture which can be traditional, extensive, intensive and semi-intensive. So types of aquaculture all over the world various techniques have been developed from time to time. The culture practices may be on the basis of habitat, economic or commercial consideration one or multiple organisms, operative design of the culturing sites, etc. Culturing practices can be grouped under following categories. The first category is the culture based on kind of water. The second category is culture based on economic or commercial consideration. So we will be studying the culture based on economic or commercial consideration. So if we get a question about what is aquaculture and tell us about different kinds of aquaculture, we can write about culture based on economic and commercial considerations and under that we get the extensive, semi-intensive and intensive aquaculture. The culture based on kind of water is fresh water, brackish water, marine water and use of sewage water has also been found profitable for fish culture. So the extensive, intensive and semi-intensive culture is the culture based on economic and commercial purposes. The culture which is based on economic and commercial consideration is in extensive, intensive and semi-intensive. In extensive culture, it is the least managed culture practice. Modest yield is raised on natural food. Ponds are of large size. This is the main point of extensive culture that ponds are of larger size. No scientific methods are used in the yield. This is also another major point. Fish production depends on natural food available. Total yield is low. In intensive type of aquaculture, ponds are smaller in size as compared to extensive type of aquaculture. In intensive type, ponds are smaller in size. Maximum production is aimed with minimum quantity of water. Investment is quite high to have modern technologies facilities, artificial feeds, fertilizers, etc. Total fish produce is very high. In the extensive culture, we had modest yield. In the intensive culture, we had higher yield. Artificial feeding and other scientific methods are used. Why we have higher yield? Because artificial feeding and scientific methods are used. Morality of the fish is also reduced. In semi-intensive type of culture, this, this practice is a transitional stage between ex extensive and intensive type of culture. So this stands between extensive and semi-intensive stage. It is a transitional stage between the full put between the both of the culture techniques and full potential of pond is not utilized. Semi-intensive can be of various types. It can be monoculture, polyculture, monosex culture, cage culture and integrated fish culture. So if we get a question about what is monoculture, first we can write about semi-intensive culture, then we can write what is monoculture. Again if we get a question about what is polyculture, we can write it is a semi-intensive culture technique and we can continue with our answer. Same with the monosex culture, cage culture and integrated fish culture. This is a extensive culture technique. This is an intensive, which is a smaller pond, higher facilities and higher yield, but a smaller pond. This is a larger pond, but no facilities or no te technologies in is involved. The semi-intensive is a transitional stage between both of the techniques. Thank you. Subscribe and like the channel.